How's it going everybody? GrimYT here. Today I'm back with a brand new video and today I'm going to be listening to the brand new Subtronics album, Fractals. Uh, so actually this came out literally yesterday um, at midnight and I'm super excited because obviously yesterday I listened to Excision's new album Onyx which was so kick-ass. Um, and now we have Subtronics new album Fractals, his first album actually uh, to unpack. And uh, yeah, so just like the Excision video uh, um, with his album Onyx, I'm going to listen to each song and I'm going to you know give my thoughts on them afterwards. And uh, yeah, go in order. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited for this. I think there's 16 songs in here to unpack so hopefully there's some heat without further ado let's get into it so the first track up here is the opener opus um which is the opener to the album and this is really cool man um i like artists that kind of start the album off with a really cool opener excisions um album decimate uh that was the first song on it and that was like the opener that was kick-ass it really set the theme for the whole album and this does too opus it kind of gives that whole fractal vibe and it, you know with all the different stuff going on um really really cool really cool opener to the album i'm very excited to check out the next uh songs see what we got in here so yeah this was really cool as a nice little opener to start off this album so, the next song up here is Space Time featuring Neve. Nev, I'm not sure how you say that. Um, this is actually a song that came out before the album. Uh, there's a couple other ones here too, but this is one of them that came out before the album. And uh, it was really cool. A little short song. Um, I love the first drop and the vocals were really well done. I love the second drop with the sub that goes up and down and the kind of whips that he throws in there. It's really cool. Um, I thought this was a great song. Uh, I like the vocals here. Really cool. Next up, we got Cabin Fever after Space Time, uh, one of the first uh, solo songs. This one is kick-ass, man. Love this. Um, I love the build-up and the drop and the build and the uh, part before it are really cool. Um, I love the choppiness of this. Some Subtronic songs have these really, you know, these like very prominent subs that kind of are there the whole drop. I like this one. It's super choppy. It jumps back and forth. It's very rhythm-y, but it is super high energy. I absolutely love this track. Uh, this one is really cool. Um, so far, so good. I really like this stuff. Alright, next up we have Open Your Mind or Anthology 999, I guess that's like, there's two names for it, uh, with Christina Soto. This was cool. Um, I love the vocals here and the uh, main melody and the sound it has. So cool. It's like a kind of more melancholy song. I love it. The first drop is very chilled and laid back, but the second drop goes into the more rhythm kind of high energy stuff. Really cool. Um, I really like the uh, the vocals. I like how they're not, you know, super prominent. They're kind of more like layered down and they're a little quieter, but they fit really well. And honestly, it's a really nice song. Very, It's a very beautiful sounding song. I think this one's really nice. Next up, we have Gassed Up with Flo Dan and Zed's Dead. Uh, this was a very cool song, too. Um, I love the drops here. This is more like kind of the older Subtronic style um, with the sub that really goes in. It's really cool. It almost sounds a little bit like Excision style, too. It's kind of cool. Um, the vocals uh, are really good as well. Flo Dan, really cool stuff. Got that kind of rap hip-hop feel. Um, I thought the song's pretty cool. I like this one, too. This one also came out before uh, the album as a single. I think it actually came out this month right before the album. So pretty cool song. The next track up is Flute Dub. Uh, this one is definitely a more like a goofy joke song. Um, it's literally like a flute, the whole thing. It's it's kind of funny, honestly sounding. Um, I think it's just so ridiculous. It's kind of funny. Um, I guess that he included it in there just for funsies. But I, I like quite, I think it was an interesting idea. Um, you know what? So you can't always have bangers in your album. You know, you got to put in some random stuff too. So it's an interesting idea for sure. Neat concept. Next up, we got Gummy Worm featuring Boogie T, who's worked with um, Subtronics before on another track. I think Nuclear Bass Face was one of them that he was on, too. Um, this song's pretty cool, too. A little bit longer than some of the others, but very cool. Um, I like the uh, first half of the drop where it kind of has this, like, you know, very simple sounding whip. And then you go into the second part where it's much heavier. Um, I think that was really cool. Uh, I like the build-ups too. I thought it was kind of cool and I like the uh, sound it has. They, these songs all kind of have the same kind of pitch and sound a little bit. So, but they're all really good. Uh, yeah, I like this one too so far. Pretty good. Next up here we have Cyclops Rocks, the shortest song in the album at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, but this is a fun little song. Um, I've also noticed too that uh, a lot of these songs have violins in them. There's a lot of violins in these songs, which is kind of cool that he uses, you know, different instruments i like that um i also really like the drop uh, it's really cool and he uses the same subtronics uh, little vocal sample that he used in house party with marshmallow um it's got the same kind of pit and stuff which is really cool that he included that too um i really like this song short little fun song pretty cool 
Now, next up, we have Take Flight, the VIP with Sullivan King. Um, I didn't actually hear the original before, um, so I didn't know they had a VIP, which is pretty nice. This song is the longest one in the album. It's almost five minutes long. Um, very cool, though. I like the beginning. Uh, but then the second drop, man, with that house switch. Woo! That was cool. I did not expect that at all. And uh, Sullivan King, once again, he was on Excision's album. Uh, there's a few other songs I like from him. Super talented guy. He killed it. Um, and, yeah, I love the first drop, but that house switch, man, really got me. I was not expecting that. That was kick-ass. Um, I really like this song. This song is really cool. Now, the next up uh, song is Morning Coffee featuring Sony, I think. That's how you say it. Um, this felt like more like an interlude between songs, which I think is very cool. Um, I like little interludes like this. Um, I think it's very cool to like take a break from the action, especially after Take Flight, which was a super uh, high-energy song. Then you go to this, which is more like a chilled-out song to kind of bring you back, um, reset you a little bit. Very cool. Uh, the drums in the beginning, it has this like really old-school drum and bass, like 2008 Pendulum feel to it, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of old-school, nostalgic kind of drums. Um, but I I like this song, like a little, nice little break from all the action, you know? This song is like a little interlude between all the tracks. Um, I thought it was pretty nice. Next up, we got Into Pieces featuring Grabbits. Um, this was nice. Uh, the vocals by Grabbits were really well done. Really nice vocals. And uh, the drops were cool. I like the second drop. It's got these kind of crystallized sounds going on in there. Like almost like wind chimes kind of. They're very high pitched. Um, very cool. Uh, I like, you know, kind of feels the whole album, the fractals thing. It kind of, you know, gets that feeling in. And uh, like I said, the vocals by Grabbits were really well done. I thought they were really good. Um, yeah, this song's pretty nice. Next up, we got Funked, um, which is a very nice song, man. This is really fun. Uh, very funky, of course. That's the name. Very funky, very fun. Got a nice rhythm to it. Um, I love the dubstep switches, and I even like the little speed up at the end. He kind of speeds it up a little bit towards the end. Really, really fun song. I really like this one a lot. This one's pretty dope. Next song, we got Grizztronics 2, another level with Grizz. Um, this song is another one that came out before the album uh, actually came out, like, re released before it. Um, this is actually a sequel to another song, Grizztronics, which is Subtronics' most popular song by a long shot with 30 million plays. So this one um, has about 1.6 million, so very popular too. Um, I heard it before, and I still heard it uh, again now, and I really like it. I think it's very cool. Um, it's like a classic Subtronics song. I really like the drops there. They're very, the kicks and, and the drums are very heavy here really cool um i think grizz and subtronics are a great pair so i could definitely see them doing another one maybe a grizztronics 3 but yeah this song is really nice now we got three solo songs after that and the first one is tuba demon really fun um i was waiting for the tuba man and then finally in the second half it kind of came in more this was great man i love the first half of the drop it kind of goes in really hard and then the second drop's got this weird like like glitchy sound going on it's like i don't know man it's like this weird glitchy like fill in the middle of it. Really interesting, but I really like this song. This one's very, very cool. Now we got two more songs left, and second to last one here is Hieroglyph. Very cool. Um, it sounds this sounds like it comes from like a movie soundtrack. This could go in like a movie when like the characters go to like Egypt or somewhere like that in like uh, like Saudi Arabia or like a desert kind of area. You can kind of hear this in the background as what like a part of the soundtrack. It's really cool. It's got this like kind of flute in the background, and uh, it feels very like a it, like a hieroglyph. You know, I think it fits pretty well. Uh, this song's pretty interesting. I like this one. And so we got the final track, Metafractal. Very interesting, some really cool glitchy weird sounds in the drop. And then once again, just like Take 5 VIP, got that house switch. I love house, man. One of my favorite genres, so I love these house switches. Subtronics needs to make more house songs, man. Those two house switches were so kick-ass. Definitely need to see some more. Um, but uh, yeah, this song was a nice little way to end off the album. Uh, very cool. Alright, so that was the album. Um, I just got done with it. What did I think overall? Not bad. Um, there was definitely some really good songs in here. Um, ones that I liked a lot more, for example, Cabin Fever, um, Tuba Demon, Cyclops, Rocks, just to name a few off the top of my head, I thought were very good. Um, some cool songs too. Um, I really liked Open Your Mind as well. The vocals there were great and it just sounds really nice. Um, so a lot of cool stuff here. This is definitely a much higher quality uh, production of songs from Subtronics. You can tell the range of sounds and uh, the different you know forms he's using are definitely more high quality. You can tell he's really expanding himself. Very, very cool. For a first album, I thought it was really good. Um, so yeah, let me know guys, what do you think about uh, this album in the comments? If you have any favorite songs, um, definitely go check it out. Really cool stuff. I really much enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like and I'll see you all later. Peace.